Okay, this is part two to the Saber Pulse tutorial guide on LSDJ. Uh, if you haven't watched part one, I suggest you do. Um, but anyway, this this section is entitled Bass. First, we'll start with a simple bass line in channel PU1. This is also known as Pulse 1. Highlight the first top left cell by using the control pad, then double tap A. This creates a new chain. Um, it's already selected on my screen. If you use the directional pad, you can see you can go up and down. But this is the one that you want to select. So just double tap A. You should now see chain 01 in the cell you selected. Now you want to go to the chain screen. Hold select and press right. In the chain screen, we have created in the chain screen, we want to create a phrase. Do this by double tapping A on the first cells at the top. For the sake of this tutorial, I will assume you have created phrase 01. So just double tap A, and now you have phrase 01. Now we need to make the baseline. Still in the chain screen, highlight phrase 01 and hold select and press right. This will take you to the phrase screen for phrase 01. Okay, now on the guide, he has a diagram of uh, the notes column, and it's just uh, it's just zero through F. Um, and what he's done is added C three to two um, six A and E. If you press play or start, you will hear the Game Boy burst into life. It's not much, and it's certainly not a baseline, but it's a start. So let's do that. So hit start. My microphone kind of craps out, and I know it's a little delayed, but um, I think this is just static noise, so when it, it actually gets into it, I think it'll be a little more clear. Um, Okay, we need to go back and create three more phrases in chain 01. If you think about it, most dance pop music travels in the 4-4 timing. That's what we're aiming for here, to get you familiar with the program. To go back to the chain screen, press and hold, select, and tap left. You should be back in chain 01, and phrase 01 will be visible. Now, instead of having to create three new phrases, go into them and place notes for each again. We're going to make it easier and faster for you. We're going to take our existing baseline section, phrase 01, and clone it three times so that we're able to edit each one without it affecting the other. In chain 01, place three more phrase 01s below the one you're already, you already have there. So to do this, just go down to 1, tap A, Go to 2, tap A, go to 3, tap A. To clone, highlight the second phrase, 01, and hold select, then press B, then A. So, B, A. The phrase number will change to one you've previously not used. Do this for the, for the remaining two below. So go down to 2, and it'll go to 3, go down to 3, and it'll go to 4. Now, in chain 01, you should see four different phrase numbers. If you look in the phrase screen for each, you will see that they're exactly the same as each other. They all have the notes you've placed inside for the first one, but because they now have different phrase numbers, you are able to edit each one independently of each other. Changing each phrase will not change the other. This technique is the backbone of working quickly and efficiently with LSDJ. So it's hand it's handy to learn this straight away. As you, if you see, this is the one that we made. You can see at the top left it says phrase one. And you can see all the C notes that we entered. If you go down to two, you see at the top left it says phrase two, but it still has the same notes. Uh, in C3, same goes for phrase three and 4 because we've cloned the um, phrase 01. Okay, the next step is to edit the notes in each new phrase to round off our baseline. The first one contains all C notes. 
make the second one contain E notes, make the third contain A notes, and the fourth to contain B notes. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll keep it as simple as possible. Okay, so we already have C notes in our first one. So, go to your second phrase, and see phrase 02 at the top. Um, what you can do is, uh, you, and how to do this is hold A and press left. until you change it to E3. Um, there is actually a simpler way to do this. Um, well, as far as faster, I should say. Uh, change this back to C3. What you want to do is hold select and tap B twice. Now, this will select your entire note column. Um, let go of select, hold A, and then hit right and you'll see that all of your notes are changing now. So instead of just going to each one and editing them uh, one by one, you can just do this one at a time. And to unselect all the notes, just tap B. Or A. Yeah, B. I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, and now it'll go back to this. Uh, if you happen to make a mistake, as far as writing a note, like say I put one at eight and I didn't want to do that, um, a quick way to get rid of this uh, as far as deleting is hold, select, tap B, then tap A, and you will delete the note. Um, and it's as easy as that. Uh, so if you've made mistakes, uh, just go back and just do that. and It's, it's very simple. Um, all right, so now we have to change these. So do the same thing again. Hold select, tap B twice, let go, hold A, and then change the notes until, what was it, A notes. Okay. <clears throat> tap B, go back, go to four, hold select, tap B twice again, Hold A and change it to B notes now. Okay. Okay, so now you can hear the bass line progressing. And at last you can hear something remotely musical. What we'd really like to do is now give that bass line a little, well, bass. So it should just listen to this, just hit start. And it's just a simple um, progre uh, progressing bass. Um, so anyway, so to give us a little more bass, navigate to the phrase screen for your first phrase. This should be phrase 01. Next to each note, you will see an instrument number. Default is 00. zero. Highlight the number, and it will do. Uh, and select the instrument screen using the same method you did at, with the previous screen. Hold select and tap right. All right. In the instrument channel, the first thing you should do to avoid later confusion is name your instrument. You just highlight the name box and it bring it'll bring up an alphabet for you to choose from. As we're creating a bass line here, let's call it bass. So you see the name, it's highlighted in orange. Tap A and then just tap A to enter each letter. So bass. Okay. <clears throat> press play to hear your phrase in the background, or if you wish, hold select and press start to hear your entire song in the background while you're editing the sound of the instrument. This is handy as you can hear what you're changing in real time. Uh, I'm not going to do this uh, just so I don't want to compete over um, the bass line, but if, if, you know, if this is going to help you as far as being able to hear what you're actually changing, then I, I suggest doing it. Um, next, we want to ed edit the envelope field. If you have very basic or no understanding of this, this is where you can control the ADSR, Attack, Delay, Sustain, Release. There are countless explanations of this on the net. Read this link to do your homework. Uh, he's linked a Wikipedia page, which I will 
um, link in the description box. By default, the envelope is set to A8. If you change the A up to F, hold select and up, you will hear the instrument getting louder. If you change the 9 down to 1, hold select and left, you will hear the instrument getting shorter. Playing about with these values, you should try to make the instrument sound short and punchy. A good one to try is D3. So hold A, press down twice for D, and then hold A, and press right for 3. The next thing we need to edit is the wave duty cycle of the instrument. That's the little graphic image of the wave directly underneath the envelope field. There are only four positions it can be changed to. Far left, which it's at now, that's 12.5%. Left, which is 25%, that would be that. Middle, which is 50%, that, is, that would be that. And right, 75%, which looks like that. Hold A on the field and push right or left to switch between the four settings. If your bass line is playing in the background, you will be able to hear the cycle being changed. The middle setting, 50%, has a good low bassy sound. Choose that. So choose that for now. Uh, I'll actually go through it. Um, this is what your bass sounds like at 12.5. but we're going to remain purists in this tutorial and keep it at 50%. Um, play around with the other fields in the instrument field if you like to hear what different things can affect your pulse instrument. Once you've done this, the first baseline section of your track is complete. Navigate back to the song, stream, and song screen, hold select and keep tapping left until you arrive there. This is your song screen. <coughs> Let's just recap on what we've done so far. Now you have one chain in your song screen, which contains four different phrases in your chain screen, each of which contain musical notes which determine the bass line in your phrase screens. You have edited one instrument which is assigned to each of the notes in your phrase. That is the end of um, the bass section. Uh, the next section we'll be tackling is the lead melody. And uh, just to hear what you, you've already made, this is what it, it should sound like so far. <clears throat> Alright, see you in part three.